Hello, I'm Thomas, and this is my Not Weekly Game Reviews. This week I am reviewing In Other Waters by Jump Over the Age. This is a text-based adventure game about navigating an alien ocean. When I say text-based, you're probably thinking of typing commands like Go North or Get Ye Flask. Not the case here. You have some minimal UI for controlling your diving suit, which shows nearby points of interest. You click on a point, you move to it, and then you get a paragraph of text describing the location. You can see local wildlife as dots that indicate slowly pulsing plants, wandering crabs, and rapid moving fish. Between dives, you analyze samples to unlock rough sketches, giving a better idea of the sea life's appearance. Without going too far into spoilers, the plot revolves around examining alien life and abandoned research outposts to learn about your environment. You travel to different parts of the ocean and unravel two mysteries. What happened to the last science team that came to this alien planet? and what was the ecological mystery they were studying here. There is a small amount of resource management. Some sea life will react to samples of other sea life. You can also process samples to get oxygen and fuel, which seems to mainly serve as incentive for the player to empty out their inventory frequently. Each area of the ocean has hazards that change how you need to manage these resources. These mainly serve to slow down the player's exploration and support the feel of being in a tin can trapped at the bottom of the ocean. I think the game succeeds at evoking the same horror of the deeps found in games like Subnautica. The audio design is phenomenal. You gotta hear this. The game takes about five hours, and if you love reading research entries on fictional sea life, you will probably spend ten hours total getting 100% of the lore entries unlocked. The game will tell you which part of the oceans to explore, but you might find it helpful to draw your own maps to figure out where you haven't been yet. If you like Subnautica and you like reading science fiction novels, this game is for you. The developer has also recently released the cyberpunk game Citizen Sleeper, similarly text-based, also science fiction, but with a lot more narrative and role-playing mechanics. I'll definitely be checking that one out soon. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you found an indie game that you think is worthy of reviewing, Tell me about it, and I might review it on my channel. Goodbye.